Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the Scam VM emulator on your PSP or PSP Go. So this emulator works on all custom firmware. So the links are in the description. The first link is just the emulator itself. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically like this um, point and click sort of um, really old PC game emulator. So if you guys want it, all you have to do is just download it. And the latest version right here is 2.0.0. So I'm just gonna click that the download is now going to start. So once you've got the emulator finished, head over to your PC's download folder. And here you will find the emulator and the ROMs you downloaded. So with the emulator, all you want to do is just right click the zip file and then select extract here. And then depending on what format the ROM is, all you want to do is right click and then do extract to and then choose the um, file name. So you should have a ROM that looks like this with several files in and it should be in a file folder and then the emulator should just look like this. So what you want to do now is go into the emulator folder and from here you want to create a ROMs folder. To do that all you have to do right click select new folder and then call it ROMs all lowercase. Just like that. Then head back over to your downloads folder. Now you can drag your ROM into the emulator and now simply drag it into the ROMs folder. So that is pretty much it for the PC. Now all you want to do is make sure your PSP is connected and drag this into your PSP's game folder. So once that has finished copying across, you can now go ahead and disconnect your PSP from your PC. So now I'm going to show you guys how to set it up on your PSP. But guys, so once you're on your PSP, just scroll over to the memory stick and there is the emulator scum VM. So all you want to do, oh you will need custom firmware for this, but once you've got it all you want to do is just press X to launch into it. So to launch a game all you want to do is just use the um, analog stick, scroll down to add game and just press X on it. This is where you want to select your ROMs folder, just double tap X on it. Right guys, so once you've got your game right here, all you want to do is just double click the um, games folder and then all of these files, all you have to do is just click choose um, on this section. Then just give it some seconds because right now it's just trying to load up the game. So if you did everything correctly, you will get this message and basically guys, from here you can just configure stuff like graphics, audio, I'm just going to leave it how it is. So if you guys are happy with this, all you want to do is just click X on OK. Now what you want to do is just click Start. So it's now just going to load the game. Um, the games have full working sound, they play at full speed, everything like that, um, just how they would on the computer. So if you guys wish to get back to the menu, all you have to do is just click Start and then obviously you can load, save, um, exit, all of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to resume game right here. So I've got Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Never played any of these games before, but maybe some of them are good, I'm not too sure. Also if you press select, it will just bring up like a mini keyboard where you can input text and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's literally just like a PC point and click game. You point with the analog stick and you press X to go there. Um, there's lots of kind of stuff you can do like that. Um, I'm not really too sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this game because I've never played it before. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.